All right. This is obviously super standard, no brainer. Always going in. Hoping to get called by Ace Five offsuit or like Ace Three offsuit. I mean, like we'll run it against that one if we have to. That's not the one we wanted to see, but we'll take it. We'll take the chips. We'll take the W. Let's go. Let's get this shit. All right, so you know we're probably not doing so hot against this range, but we're not being we're not being able to fold eights here. I'm not even gonna do the math. I don't feel like it. Twelve bigs. I'm just gonna jam. Close, close, no doubt. No, my wife's never been on stream. She has no interest in going on stream. All right, let's do it. No seven, no three. Oh shit, we tripled up. Ooh, that's good. Tripling up is good. All right, well, I told you I wanted Bonnich to get chips, right? I take it back. He needs to lose all of them now. Let's go, get them. Ace or Jack, baby. Yes, bye bye Bonnich. Don't give a fuck, I want the chips, baby. It's all fun and games till we gotta play against each other. Yeah, this sucks. <clears throat> this is like gonna look super fucking stupid, but this is gonna be a math call. Like I'm not gonna be able to fold this in, I don't think. Let's hold. Got something to say. <clears throat> Calling's fine. As soon as I get some chips, gotta punt them off. Trying to win, baby. Trying to win. Not trying to do this tense shit. Trying to win. Wouldn't mind a 10, but we'll take a queen. Yes, we will. We will indeed. There we go, baby. Get paid. Let's go. All right. So we're 11 left in this one and nine left in this one. We got queens over here, so we're gonna just chill here for a minute. Can we beat this guy out of a pot for once? Thank you. The queen jack suited spot where I call against the jam is because the small blind shoving range gets so wide given that the small blind covers me in the KO format. So the, all of the pairs end up going in like deuces and I have way too much equity against those hands. And all of like the, a lot of the ace rags end up going in as well. And the range just gets too weak to fold queen jack suited. It's not that you're gonna have the best hand much, but it's that you're gonna have too much equity to fold against the hands that your opponent's likely to have because there, there end up being so many hands in the range. So like to defend my range after opening, and you know, with that much money on my head, I have to change the way that I would play against raises. Fuck. <sighs> Oof. Should I check raise the turn? I thought about it. 
Villain had Queen Jack. I thought about it, but I mean, I just block everything. I mean, like, it's just like not a hand that check races. I like, I like my, I like my line. I just, I'm annoyed. <clears throat> my opponent did, my opponent didn't do anything wrong. Like, my opponent played fine, but I wanted more money. So button limped. I completed the small blind. Flop check through. I'm betting the turn. And all of it on the river. <clears throat> Actually, no, I'm not. I feel like these are, I have like pretty good blockers for doing what I did. Which is, you know, check. Instead of uh, betting the river. Obviously my opponent could have like pocket kings or something. Like that's a possibility. All right, so we're gonna check this one back real quick. See what we, what happens. We lose to a pair of eights, that's pretty standard. And we're gonna call this off with ace king. Run it three ways, try to get there. Ace, brick. That sucks. Very standard, obviously. Don't fold ace king. <laughs> uh, I mean, annoying to lose, but very standard to run it. Glad I didn't jam. Oof. Unlucky for queens. Final table. Here we go. There we go. I was about to say, we got a final table something today. I check back flop. I raise button, big blind calls, I check back flop. This is gonna get snapped sometimes by like two clubs, it feels like, but there are enough bluffs here and check folds that I think this is still reasonable. Yeah. I mean, I think that's fairly good, like it's gonna happen fairly often there. But I have 10 high, so it's not even like I have ace high, I can't like, I just, I just lose everything, so. Big bluffing there is pretty standard. Close. It's not like it's a fucking punt, it's just like I might be able to not do that. But I mean, like, at the same time, like I just don't have anything else to bluff with. It's really tough. It's a tough spot to like not bluff. really small. Fuck, that's really close. <clears throat> it's like almost the exact right price. Oh shit, I'm so happy I called. Unless he's got a boat, then I'll be fucking pissed that I called. So hoping he'd put a bet out. All right. This is obviously super standard, no brainer. Always going in. Hoping to get called by ace five offsuit or like ace three offsuit. I mean, like we'll run it against that one if we have to. That's not the one we wanted to see, but. We'll take it, we'll take the chips, we'll take the W, let's go. Let's get this shit. I'll take the win, let's go.
Oh, yes. Just jam. Somebody just jam it on me with eights. Oh, fuck. Still jam with King Jack. You could jam with Queen Jack, that'd be even better. Just jam with Queen Jack. Fuck. Alright, what's that? Ace 10, Ace 8. Already big, Ace 10, Mike Jam Free. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I have a double gutter to go with this hand. Oh fuck. Oh, I mean like there's no way this is any hands I beat though. I need four to one. Oh, that's fucking painful. I mean, if my opponent has like queen 10 and check jams there, which would be kind of cool. I just don't think people do that though. So, and I, and I, I mean like it could be like eight, nine, like I guess, like jack nine, I guess, like 10, nine, I guess, like, like they could do it, but like th th like that fast, like it's just, it's just so much easier to do that with jack 10. Like it's just so, it's just, like if you're just gonna be like, oh, like I'm all in. It's like with eight, nine? Really, with eight, nine? Like you, you don't care at all? I mean like it's probably jack 10, right? So, fuck. Sucks. Oh, shit! Oh, yes! Come on, Darwin. Drop it. Drop it, Darwin. Let's go, baby. Oh. Alright, somebody else put it in. I don't care. Come on, Graz. You could do it. Somebody flat, somebody three bet. Let's go. I want to get a lot of chips. Sad face. Darwin's running it against seven deuce. We're rooting for seven deuce, baby. Hold deuce! Yeah, baby! Bye, Darwin. Yes. He's a good guy to get out. He's a good guy to get, get lost. Oh shit, nice soft table. Got European to my direct left. Here we go. So we're four left here with our ace jack, which is going in, and we're feeling pretty good about it. Like, bad things happen. People have kings sometimes, but feeling pretty good about this ace jack. Past the first person. Guaranteed 2,075. Guaranteed 2,075 in this one, plus the chaos. All right, let's hold. It's a pretty good flop. Yes, yes, building. Over here, we're nine of nine. So two final tables today, my wife was right. All right, and she's always right. Uh, guaranteed 1500 So, <clears throat> between these two games, plus KOs in both. Pretty good hand to go broke with. I have 26 bigs, 26 and a half. Very standard jam. The timing of this raise makes me feel like I'm going to get called and lose, but... This is a very quick open. Yeah, that sucks. 
But, you know, it is what it is. So we're guaranteed, we won 4,000, I think it said 38 something, 38, 60 something. So we got 4,000 for that one, close to 4,000. Uh, all right, so we've got one left. But that ain't my style. And what are you gonna do? Run up on me if you want to. Let the faux faux in him. You can get it, let me know. Kills and the hustlers. You're fucking up the ballers. Man, there's something about having this super fucking aggro music going on when you're just jamming it in. You're just like, fuck, I love this shit. All right, we're going to jam this. I think this range is just like wide as fuck. Like, I think he's opening 55, 60. Oh, oh, how do I... I think he's opening 55, 60 to get aces there? Oof, that's brutal. I'm comfortable with my line. Like, I'd do it again. So, that just sucks. Thanks to everybody for hanging out. It's been fun. How the fuck did that guy have aces? Like, can we just go back to that? Like, how did he have aces? He's opening all the fucking hands. All right. Thanks, guys. I'm going to kill the stream now. And thank you very much for hanging out today. I do appreciate it. Again, bbzstaking.com, rangeconverter.com, and the YouTube channel, BBZ Coaching. Check those things out. Talk to you guys later. Peace. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, we've got a new one on sale at bbzstaking.com, targeting a very commonly misplayed spot in MTTs, and that's button versus cutoff. If you're looking to improve, I highly suggest checking it out through the link in the description. Peace.